Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm making a card for my niece. My mother-in-law just passed away and she was really, really close to her. And uh, I thought doing a little card might help cheer her up a little bit. Now, I don't have anything pre-cut or thought about. We're, I'm just, this is something new that I'm doing on this video is I'm just taking you guys along for the ride with my thought process. We'll see how it turns out. All right, so I'm starting out with a uh, eight and a half by 11 piece of white cardstock. It's just a 65 pound weight, and I'm going to cut it down to five and a half, which makes the five and a half by uh, four and a quarter A2 size card. So I'm going to fold it over just like so. Now um, I am moving, so I've already packed my um, embossing and die cut big shot. So I'm going to be doing cutting out some things by hand as far as the, the um, what's we call it, the stamps go. Uh, love, love this here. We actually went out to dinner last night and had sushi, so I thought it would be fun to use this. Um, I just need it to inspire her a little bit. She's kind of second guessing herself on life and everything, so um, it's gonna say, I like the way you roll, and we're gonna use those, maybe even that. So let's get started on the stamping. I've got my Misty out here. I'm gonna cut this down. So that'll fit in a little misty. And I'm just going to say, I'll do four inches. That should be enough room for stamping. If not, I'll use this bigger piece. And then I'm using some Copex. So I'm going to use my Memento Black Ink so it doesn't smear. This stamp set is called Let's Roll by Long Fawn not used it yet. I saw it come up, um, I think it was on an email that she sent out, and I just was like, I've got to have it. That's it. I'm a huge sushi fan, so. So I'm just going to do that one right there. I'm going to go ahead and do the heart, because I think I'll probably end up using that. And I love these little smiley faces. Um, this one I'm actually going to wait and stamp directly on it once it's cut. And um, I like the way you roll, obviously. Um, let's even do, we got one of these sushi, what are these called? Sushi sticks, I'm calling it G's. Go in there, don't scratch my couch. All right, so let's start with that. I have Copic paper that I got online um, a while ago, and I wanted to show it to you. Mm, now I've lost it. Oh, uh, no, I actually got this at an expo. Um, I was going to use this, but then I cut this other paper, and I remembered that it really doesn't matter so much. I have used regular copy paper before, so I found a way for this, for using Copic markers. But if you see this and you want to use it, go for it. Oh, nice. All right, so let's take this out. And I'm going to also do, I'm going to set that right there on top of those stamps for now. I'm going to do another chopstick. Chopstick, that's the word I was looking for. And I'll put him right there and possibly another heart. So let's do another heart. That's what I like about this Misty. One of the things I like about the Misty is you can do your duplicate steps. Just like that. I'm gonna grab a little wet wipe here. The Memento, Memento rubs off real easily. Also, if you use a magic eraser on these, um, she also provides um, cleaner for the Misty. All right, so let's do some Copic markers. Um, on this one here, we're gonna do uh, some green for the seaweed. I don't know if this is gonna be too dark. Oh, that'll do. And I'm not going to worry too much about the shadows. You'll see in a minute what I'm going to do here. 
So as it's still wet, I'm gonna come back in and just do another um, little section there. You can go with a lighter than a darker. Um, this one happens to be YG67. Um, my niece is a high school teacher. Absolutely loves her job. Loves the kids. Okay, now since that's white, I don't want to do... Um, Oh, that's the blender. I don't want to do a dark color. That's another blender. I'm trying to find my lightest gray that I have. I think it might be N1. So this is going to be the rice. I don't want to really make it a color. I just want to maybe shadow, little, do a little bit of shadowing. And, um, oh, let's do a little salmon in there. Let's see if I can find a, I think this might be too pink. Nope. There's a little salmon roll. Okay, so I went over a little bit on the rice. I'm gonna use my blender pen I'm just going to rub that a little bit and start fading it away. Okay, nice. Um, let's go ahead and do pink on the hearts, a different color of pink because I have pink in the layers of paper that I want to use. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's very close to that. Let's do a brighter pink. I have it. Oh, how about purple? My dogs are about to bark because the trash trucks are here. Now I'm going to be cutting that out so I don't care about that. I'm going to use some uh, light brown for the chopsticks. This might be too light. Nope, I like it. The, um, the same color to do the shadow like I did with the seaweed. You're okay, Gunther. Okay, I'm going to show you something really fun. You guys may already know this, but if you take your blender pen and you hold it down on the color that you've already colored, it makes little white dots. Now we're going to see these are the sesame seeds. Because sometimes they do that. You have a sushi roll. You're okay. I know, scary. Right, let's go ahead and cut these out. Some scary trash trucks, right? Look how cute that is. Holy moly. I'll leave a little bit of white around it. Um, I do have a brother scan and cut that would have worked perfect for this, but I did pack it. Already sealed up in a box. Oh, okay, honey. Okay, so we don't need to hear my dog barking. Let me get him calmed down. Okay, so he's still growling a little but I think he's under control. Shh. Stop. Okay, so that's done. Oops, went a little bit too far out on that one. I may have to pause again. I apologize. My puppies. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and cut out the chopsticks. It's gonna be easier for me to do that like this. Dude it. <laughs> Just made up a new word here. Call Webster people. Dude it.
and again just leaving a little bit of a white border around it. You're fine. Okay, and then I'll do this one. Some people find fussy cutting um, relaxing. That would be me. I don't use my brother's scan and cut as much as I thought I was going to. It's kind of strange. Now my female schnauzers getting all crazy about the trash trucks. Okay, and then let's do the hearts. Ooh, this one's tricky. It's so little. So I have to share with you, I may have already shared this in another video. Um, so I'm packing up my house to move and I have to chuckle because I'm going to say 75% of the boxes that have to be moved are boxes from my craft room <laughs> and my crafty stuff from my garage. So it's quite funny. I'm going to do an even cut on this one, the I like you part. So, yeah, it's pretty funny. It's not funny, but it's funny. I didn't realize I had actually bought that much stuff until I had to pack it up and move it. My husband's like, well, maybe you should try to get rid of some of this stuff. I'm like, I'm sorry, what did you just say? In a joking way. I said that. They go, no, I'm not getting rid of it. My, my craft room in my new home is like four times bigger than the one I have here. And it's got a ton of storage, so I'll show you all when I, once I get moved in. Okay, enough babbling. Okay, so I found this that I did not pack. It's um, My Mind's Eye, designed by Jen Allison. It's a six by six paper pad. And I decided, oh, this is really cute. I think I may go with that and maybe just do a black layer. Oh, look how adorable that is. Let me just thumb through this real quick so you can see it. Cute, right? Okay, finding my card that I already made and folded over. Let's go ahead and put those layers on. Okay, the black layer is gonna go down first. And I'm just going to cut it slightly smaller than five and a half. And slightly smaller than four and a quarter. Let's put that on there. You all are being so patient. one down to five and a quarter. Well, that's cute on that side. I might have to integrate that one in there by four. I'm going to turn my ringer off on my phone here. do a video so the crash trucks have to come and the dogs have to bark. I think I'm actually going to use this. Or do I like this design better? I'm trying to find the other piece to 
the black one because I liked the sunglasses on it, but I can't find it. Well, that's normal, typical of me. I know you guys could probably see it. Oh well, I'll just do this instead. I think I'm gonna try to cut like this part right here so it shows it going down. Hang in there, people. This is my thought process. I talk to myself, number one, when I'm creating. And sometimes I take a heck of a long time in doing it. Okay, I'm just going to lay this out here for a second. get an idea of what I want to do here. Okay, that would be it. Put a chopstick there. Put another one there. Let's go ahead and cut this down to four inches. Lay that right against there. Move my tweezers. I did leave my essentials out. I did not pack like my tweezers and my scissors and things like that. Put the heart there. Nope. Tweezers are not easily acceptable acceptable. Accessible. I wish I wouldn't have packed my um, inks because I would have inked the edge of this. That would have been fun. Um, I think I will. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the, the uh, black here and put a little border behind it so it's not doesn't look like it's floating up in the air. Let's pop this up. That's another thing I didn't pack. I didn't pack this. And on the inside, I'm also going to be using another Lawn Fawn stamp set. And it says, Thinking of You. Yes, I do have it here. Oh, I touched my lamp. Oh my gosh, there it is. <laughs> I'm putting things down and I can't find them. Um, this one's called Simply Sentiments. Oh, you know what? I'm going to say Sending Hugs. Let's get out the misty again. Removing all these little pieces that were on there before. And I'm going to fold the card back. down in there. I don't know if this is going to work. I've never done this before. I usually stamp the inside of it. Sending hugs. Um, let's do another heart in there. And down we go. Ink that up. Lovely. All right, all right. Let's check out the card here. Um, I was gonna put little faces on here because uh, this is the set has these cute little face.
spaces here, but I think I'm going to leave it alone. I think that's good the way it is. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Um, have a great day. And if you have any questions or comments, um, please do so in the comment section and I'll get back to you.